Hello everybody. Today I am going to discuss about iron deficiency anemia part 3 and here I am going to discuss about the treatment of iron deficiency anemia. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe the channel, like the video and don't forget to share. First of all, let us have a review of the previous two slides. So if we think about the, this picture with this picture, that a normal level of red blood cells, that means if a person is not suffering from anemia, then the blood picture will look like this. But if a person is suffering from anemia, anemia level of red blood cell, then the red blood cell gradually decreases in the number. We can see by doing the comparison. So one type of anemia is iron deficiency anemia, you know, iron deficiency anemia, which is very much widespread all over the world. And according to World Health Organization, this is one of the most important deadly anemia among all the other anemias. So this is the worldwide view of iron deficiency anemia. It is a nutritional disorder because iron comes under the nutritional valuable food. Nutritional disorder in which the blood lacks adequate healthy red blood cells because there is very less incorporation of the iron within the hemoglobin which is present in the red blood cells and hemoglobin less than 12 gram per deciliter. So about 2 billion of the world population are anemic. Anemia is more common in women than men because women have to suffer for the menstrual period each and every month and a great amount of blood is lost uh, through that menstrual cycle. Global prevalence of anemia among women, 29% of non-pregnant women and 38% of the pregnant women. We can say this is from the malnutrition. Anemia affects 43% of the children. So the global scenario of iron deficiency anemia is too bad. So what is iron deficiency anemia? If we have just a look, this is the normal blood picture and this is the anemic one and these are the symptoms of iron deficiency anemia, shortness of breath, then fatigue, then dizziness, then headache then difficulty in concentrating in different works and then pale skin. So these are the symptoms of iron deficiency anemia. This all we have covered in our previous two videos. Now let's discuss about the treatment which is the main motto of this video. So Iron supplementation is the best way to treat iron deficiency anemia. Supplementation means when there is less amount of iron present in the body, then we have to supplement iron, we have to input iron orally uh, from outside or in the severe cases intravenously from outside. Iron tablets are prescribed to treat the deficiency of iron in the body orally. These tablets are generally for adults. For infants and children, this supplementation comes in the form of the liquid, in the form of the syrup, we can say. Intake of iron tablets in the empty stomach. This is considered to be the prime treatment of iron deficiency anemia. You can see in the picture that a woman is uh, taking tablets and a bowl of food is placed in front of her, that means before taking the food, uh, she is supplementing herself with the iron tablets. Now generally, iron tablets are prescribed to be taken in empty stomach, okay, because at that time it gets absorbed very quickly and sufficiently. But if the patient feels stomach upset, then he or she can take it with the meal also. It causes in case of few patient that they uh, face some stomach upset like of uh, symptoms and then the do doctors prescribe them to take the iron tablet with the mill uh, rather than taking it in the empty stomach. Taking iron tablet with antacids may cause the heat burn symptoms. 
So it is better to take iron supplement tablets 2 to 3 hours before or 3 to 4 hours after the antacid. So while taking the iron supplement tablets we have to remind in our mind that it may not be taken in the empty stomach it may cause the irritation in the stomach or uh, it is uh, better uh, to take uh, a reliable gap between taking the antacids and the iron supplement tablets. Next intake of iron tablets with vitamin C. So vitamin C actually helps in the absorption as well as the you can see there uh, as well as the uh, improves helps as well as improves the absorption of the iron from the small intestine and so the doctors prescribe that if we dilute the tablet in some vitamin C like orange juice or amla or lemon juice then it acts for better. The next one is intake of iron tablet with stool softener. That's a very important thing because one of the side effect of this iron tablets are blackening of the stool which is a safe side effect that means not the harmless one but uh, in few cases there is constipation which may be very much painful in case of the patient. So the uh, doctors used to give some stool softener along with the iron tablets. So this is another treatment. The next one is intake of iron rich food that means a healthy iron filled diet. You can see in the picture that these are all the foods which are very much rich in iron. Look liver then meat then green leafy vegetables then legumes and all. You can see this potatoes and all these are all very much rich in iron. A proper iron rich diet can help to cure iron deficiency anemia. The diet should include should include red meat, dark green leafy vegetables, dried fruits and nuts, iron fortified cereals, vitamin C rich fruits like orange, lemon, amla etc. Treatment of underlying causes that means it's not always true that the iron deficiency anemia will cause only for the deficiency of iron uh, from the diet there may be some other causes too like if the cause is peptic ulcer then antibiotics or other medication are prescribed if the cause is heavy menstrual flow oral contraceptives are given to lighten the flow if the patient is carrying tumor fibroid or bleeding polyp with the help of the surgery it is removed. So apart from the low amount of iron intake in the diet there may be some other causes too. Now intravenous iron here you can see that a patient is lying here with the transfusion bag and here how the transfusion occurs in the patient's body. So if iron deficiency anemia is severe remind the term severe. Doctor prescribes to give iron intravenously. In few cases blood transfusion is also performed to replenish iron and hemoglobin at a faster rate. So what is the expected result after this treatment? So this is the expected result. You can see that before treatment this was the scenario of the blood picture but after the treatment with all this or whatever is applicable for which patient this is the scenario of the blood picture. So definitely the picture is improved with lots and lots amount of RBC and hemoglobin. So it helps. There are few references for your further studies which is very important. Thank you very much for your patient listening. It is continued to part 4 where I will going to discuss some uh, questions and answers and MCQ type questions uh, so that you can answer well in your coming examination. So long. Bye bye.